Airplane rides have generally gotten more and more affordable since the early days. This is mostly down to the newest technologies. And if you would like to see some of those and the general evolution of airplane design, do check out another interesting videos I've made covering that. A link is dropped in the description below. However, which modern aircraft is the most fuel efficient? In this epic showdown, we take a look at which is the greenest and cleanest. But first, here's how our contenders will be judged. Factors we'll look at include the fuel burn per trip and fuel burn per seat in an optimal seating configuration. Also, we look strictly at aircraft 100 seats and above, flying a minimum of 2 hour 1000 nautical mile flights. Numbers are based on a wide variety of ranges that will be mentioned and may jump around slightly, though this is still a fair judgement. Before we begin counting down from the perfect 10, if you'd like to see more great aviation content, please do consider subscribing and stay tuned for more great detailed analysis and epic comparisons on the way. Right, let's begin the countdown. Coming in 10th place, we start with a big one, the 777-9. 777-9, due out in 2020, the 777X is the updated 777, with new wings, new engines and more seats, resulting in superior operating economics. While nowhere near the most efficient on this list, with over 400 seats, the airplane is nearly the size of the 747-8 but burns less than half the fuel and is the most efficient offering above 400 seats. Its fuel consumption is 7.69 kg per kilometer per trip and 2.3 liters per 100 kilometers for every passenger flown in a typical 400 seat 2 class layout over 7200 nautical miles. Moving on to 9th place, and when it comes to flying the longest routes in the world with decent capacity, nothing can beat the A350-900, with fuel consumption of an impressive 7.07 kg per kilometer per trip. The newest Airbus white body has the capability to go anywhere with less fuel. Eighth goes to the 787-9. It's simply the most efficient white body in its range category, burning 2.31 liters per 100 km per passenger flown and 5.63 kg per km per trip of fuel. Oh yes, the 787 is also the first aircraft to feature new composite materials that gives it the edge. Seventh goes to the new Airbus A321 XLR. This souped-up A321 version may be small, but it's now encroaching into wide-body range. Still, its small size gives it a low trip cost of 2.99 kg per kilometer flown, while its seat cost with a typical 180 to 206 seat layout is competing with larger wide bodies at 2.19 liters per 100 kilometers. With such high levels of economics, the A321XLR will be a market opener for many airlines. Six goes to the other end of the Airbus family line, the largest white body they plan to produce in the future. A350-1000 is a stretch over the Dash 900 and thus has the lowest seat cost of any widebody flying excess of 7,000 nautical miles. Its seat cost of 2.18 liters per 100 km in a 2 class 365 seat layout. That's certainly impressive, given it can fly non-stop from Singapore to London.
fifth goes to an aircraft that's been heard of recently. Not necessarily for the right reasons, but this is a good one. The 737 MAX 8 is the most efficient mainstream Tsinglao, with fuel burn of 2.71 kg per kilometer and seat cost of 2.04 liters per 100 kilometers. With these numbers, it's easy to see why the MAX is so popular amongst many airlines. Fourth goes to the longest stretched 787, the Dash 10. While it lacks in range compared to 850, it more than makes up for in efficiency. In fact, its seat cost of 2 litres per 100 km for every passenger flown is the most efficient out of any white body, any, and is nearing single out levels of operating economics, all while carrying 330 passengers in a comfortable two-class layout. The aircraft is an economical machine. Third goes to the Airbus A220-300. This aircraft is small in size, though big in efficiency, with seat cost of 2 litres per 100 km and trip cost of 2.56 kg per km of fuel burn. Second will go to an honourable mention. And this mention goes to the 777-300ER and 777 as a whole. As the first long-range twin-engine aircraft, the 777 was revolutionary. It achieved the same performance as quad jets like 747 in terms of range, but was way more fuel efficient and smaller, allowing airlines to open up a whole new range of routes. It drove the trend towards efficient twins you see flying around the world today. Compared to its competition at the time, the A340-600, it burned a remarkable 30% less fuel per trip thanks to twin engine efficiency. The 777 marked the start of a new era in efficiency, and for that, the aviation industry owes a lot to this revolutionary aircraft. And coming in the first place is an aircraft I bet many wouldn't actually believe. Can anyone guess which it is? Click in the top right hand corner now to vote. Could it be the 787-8? How about the A330-900 NEO? A re-engine with 14% low fuel burn, the MC-21, the new Russian Singlao? Or how about the latest and longest 737-10? Click to vote. Right, you voted. Now for the grand review, and I can reveal that the most efficient aircraft as of right now, time of upload, is the Boeing 737-10. As of now, with its lighter airframe than competing A321neo, Boeing claims a lower fuel usage of 5%, both per trip and per seat. That means figures of 1.89 litres per 100 km for every passenger flown when kitted out in a dense 230 seat layout. The MAX 10 being a simple stretch of the MAX 9 will be the most efficient 737 ever and the ultimate 737. Do you agree with this list? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and till we meet next time, wishing everyone a truly clear sky hit.